Good morning, Clubs Sport. Today's class, we're going to work with the muscle that reacts to fear, and it's called the psoas muscle. And what it does is it pulls your legs up into your body so you can escape. It is affected by our breath, so we'll start there. So you can sit any way. Uh, for today, you know, you might want to sit on a block. I have a blanket here. So part of self-care, which has kind of been my theme for a while, is being able to um, self-soothe. So bring your hands right to the top of your leg. Push that down, even if your shoulders come up, it's okay. And then inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Do a couple more of those. And I want you to start to think now of a thought, which what we think about matters. As you inhale, think I am so strong. As you exhale, think I am supported. So now we're going to do this through our mouth on the exhale. Inhale, I'm so strong. Exhale, I am so supported. Inhale, strength. Exhale, support. Continue on, use that mantra, or if you have another one that feels good, marry it with your inhale and your exhale, because what we think about matters. And you know, you hear it over and over again, I gotta tell you, it does change across your legs when you're ready. Continue on with that. So I have a blood pressure cuff at home now that they told me to get after I went through that whole thing with Marty and his heart attack and everything, my blood pressure went really high. So I did blood pressure medicine for a little while and the doctor said, yes, come off because my blood pressure dropped too low. Continue with your breaths. So I have the blood pressure cuff on and I think about something that bugs me and the blood pressure goes up. So go ahead and come out of that. Take the bottoms of your feet together and then inhale forward and exhale. Think of your low back rounding back. Inhale, take your low back forward slightly and exhale back. Starting to move that psoas muscle. So when I think about things that bug me or some argument I have with somebody or somebody who is not doing the right thing, my blood pressure goes up, so I thought, okay, let's see if I can change my blood pressure with what I think. So I do that. I start to think a different thought. And now I can't, since I'm, not a, I'm out of that stressful situation. And it's great because I, it dropped 10 points. Now, you know, some of us need to be on, you know, blood pressure medicine, and that's totally fine. It's no big deal. It's like emotions. It's just like, whatever. Let it go. Do it. Just do the meds. But, you know, what we think about is affecting us physiologically. You just don't realize it. Two more. Last one. Take your feet wide. Take your hands behind you. And then begin to let the hip joint, the, the leg drop in and go side to side. Let your pelvis rock side to side. And theoretically, you feel kind of this line come through your body as you drop the leg. Don't feel this in your low back. That's where you should not feel it. But kind of feel it in the outer edge of your pelvis. The psoas is going to connect with another muscle outside your pelvis, in your abdomen, or excuse me, in your pelvis. And those muscles together. So think of moving through that muscle with your breath. For me, it's I'm so strong. Exhale, I am so supported. It's very hard to, right now to feel the support of other people since we can't see people, can't hug people. There's a lot going on there. But trust me, you have people in your life that are supporting you. And then come through center. From here, 
come to standing, I'm going to stand um, one side up here. And as I'm here, I'm going to think of my legs starting from either side of my belly button. And I'm going to push down into my legs from either side of my belly button. And I'm going to inhale, reach up, reach away from that. Exhale, forward fold. So the accumulation of stress in our body, inhale, flat back will affect our physiology. Walk your legs back, top of the push-up. Now take the, the legs, imagine them as either side of your belly button, they start move the legs in one direction and then take your heart in the other direction. But you can, and we all meet at down dog. Inhale, I am so strong. Exhale, I feel supported. Next, inhale, walk it forward. Exhale, forward fold. Now remember, you're going to push down through your abdomen, through your legs. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, right back down. Hands on your shins. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, this time let's just take our right knee back and down. Theoretically, you have your yoga blocks by now. Gonna take a block underneath the front foot. And then take your pelvis, lunge it forward until you can feel a little tug in the hip flexor or the quadricep. And then from here, the leg that's back, take two directions. Here, and then the back leg is going way back, the back knee. Move away from that, lift your chest slightly. Continue to draw a line to the ceiling, up. Lean slightly over towards the bent leg, and bend your knee. And then work your breath. Strength. Exhale. On your next inhale, slowly come up. Take yourself around through center. Make sure you're close enough to the foot on the block that you have your knee joint over your ankle joint. I mean, my knee slightly higher than my hip joint. And I have this knee joint under. Taking the block on the inside. Now think of lengthening down this side of your hip flexor down. Remember, this leg starts right at this side of the belly button. Push it down. And then reach your arm up out of the to the ceiling. Draw a line as you are over. So as you arc over, match the and then go inside your body, go deeper underneath the flesh, and think of your tailbone tucking slightly and feel a nice lengthening happening inside your pelvis. And then slowly get out. Coming off your block. Everybody needs that down dog. Reflect on how you can notice the difference between one side and the next. One leg might feel longer. Inhale, I'm strong. Exhale, I'm supported. Last one, inhale, strength. Exhale, feel supported. Walk your legs forward. Forward fold. Think of pushing your pelvis and your legs down to the floor. Lift your chest. Inhale, come stand. Move in two directions. Exhale, right back down. Hands on your shins. Lengthen out of your pelvis. And then release down. I'm gonna lunge my other leg back. As you lunge your other leg back, think of being not on the kneecap, but on the part right above the knee. So this back leg, I'm gonna draw it back. Have a block underneath the front foot. Work your breath to start with. So the breath and these muscles of stress that we're working with, they are connected. So when you breathe and you shorten our breath, it's because 
we're stressed out. And sometimes stress is not a bad thing. So you don't want to be like, we're never going to have no stress in our life. But play with here. Feel that tug happening in my hip flexor, and I'm going to just breathe through that. And as I do that, I know I'm changing my physiology because I'm working against an inclination to get fired up, which sometimes we need to get fired up, so not let it go. Then take the same arm as the leg is back, reach it out of your body, lift your, back, your chest slightly, and then keep reaching the arm out of the body as you arch over. Work your breath, let the elbow hang. Inhale, I'm strong. Exhale, there's lots of support around me to keep me safe. So from here, I'm going to take the block to the other side. I'm going to line myself up so that I can step this foot on. Knee joint, ankle joint, knee joint, hip joint. So I want my knee joint to line up with that ankle joint. This hip joint. So from there, reach out of your body. So first you might feel a tug in the flesh. And then think of dropping your tailbone slightly down so you can actually feel that length and have it inside your pelvis. Take your breath. And start to come over. Bend your elbow. Then maybe turn your heart. You might feel a little tug in your low back. So come out slightly. So where you should not feel this is in your low back. Um, on either side of your spine and the low back. You might feel a slight tug happening in your sacrum. Push back, down dog. So theoretically what happens when we do this work in our pelvis and releasing our hip flexor, so sometimes we want to strengthen the hip flexors for one reason or many reasons, and then sometimes we want to lengthen. Here, you want to feel your sit bones going up towards the ceiling and then back towards the back wall. Then you'll be able to access the iliopsoas of two muscles together. Will your inner thighs hug slightly in the midline? And then slowly coming out. Walk yourself so that you have your legs on either side of your mat. So I have the lemons here because every morning we should be having warm lemon water. So you can drink coffee, but just have it after your warm lemon water. Self-care, self-soothing, self-care during this time. So important for our physiology, our sense of well-being, our families, our friends, so we're not completely insane with all this stuff going on. So taking my legs wide. I imagine as I'm here, from either side of my belly button, I'm gonna think of pushing out through my heels. So I feel a length come. Turning your left foot, I'm mirroring you. And then begin to lean over. Now as you come over, I want you to feel from here, this dropping down so you feel like you're lengthening here. So I want you to feel that muscle. Then begin to inch over and keep pressing this leg down from this side of your belly button. So you really have to push the leg down from this side of your belly button. As I lengthen down, I'm going to have a leg. Now the leg that's extended away from me, I'm going to think from that side of my belly button, lengthen through my toes. Keep moving in two directions, from this side down, from here, that direction. 
Work your breath. Inhale and strong. Exhale and supported. And then slowly coming out. We'll go second side. <sighs> These muscles that we're working with, the iliopsoas and so is the, ili the iliacus muscle, those muscles, when they get tight and we're sitting a lot, they may be telling your psyche that you're stressed. Those muscles react quickly when somebody chases us to pull our legs up so we can run, remember? So if they're contracted all the time, who knows? I mean, I think I know. I think that they're going to tell our body that things are not okay. We're worried. we got to take off at any point. So access the strength. So from here, you're going to drop. Lengthen down. Get to make your way over. And then I think, I still think access, I still access these muscles here. As I came over, the psoas muscle, and then lengthen the opposite one. So the standing leg really push down into the floor. Keep pushing down. Each time you think you might get, whoa, whoa, but like me, I want you to push a little bit more. And then slowly get me up. All right. Let's make our way into a downward dog. So as you push into this downward dog, see pushing forward slightly, but pull your palm back. So think of like you're stretching the underside of your hand in downward dog. Lift your wrists up slightly. Spread your collarbones. Start to work from your feet. From here, lift your toes. Pull the top of your legs back and up. Feel your inner thighs hug the midline. Then take your breath and run it through your body with that sense of strength. Inhale. And exhale. Feel your hands and your feet. Feel a sense of support. Stay with your breath. Work the concentration. Work the thoughts. On your next exhale, move forward and down. And I'll show you the next time. So this muscle, the psoas, when it gets really, really tight, it can be the source of some constipation, some digestive issues, lots of things that happen. Maybe when you get stressed out, you start having stomach problems. So we can release this muscle. There's lots of other things that would factor into that, but certainly this muscle is one of them. So you can take your block. You're going to think of this about my pubis bone, kind of embedding it into my pelvis. If you have low back problems, you know, maybe you don't use a block, maybe you use um, a rolled up towel or something, but you want to kind of let that slightly come into your abdomen. I have mine on the long side. I'm going to go side to side. So when I go to my right, I think of the block embedding into the pelvis go into my pelvic bowl and just move side to side. It's really good for your digestive system. Make sure you do this on an empty tummy, empty stomach. If it's too much for your back, remember a nice rolled up towel. The width of your pelvic bowl is a little bit wider even. Last two, there's one, there's 
two, and roll to one side. So coming on to your back, come all the way down, I'll talk you through the rest of it, you don't even have to see me yet. So as you come on to your back, bend your knees, and let your knees kind of wave side to side. Your feet can be a little wider than your sit bones. Let your knees wave side to side. You'll feel your low back come off the ground. Let your left knee drop in the midline. You can take a block underneath your left knee if it doesn't touch the ground so you don't throw your knee joint out of whack there. So I have my block waist uh, laying underneath my knee, excuse me, and my knee over my block. And then my opposite ankle, I'm gonna cross over. Then this top hip joint, this top hip side of my pelvis is lifted up. From there, I'm gonna reach up and over my head so I can reach out of my body. I want to feel a nice tug coming through here. Work your breath. Inhale, I am so powerful. Exhale, my breath supports me. Inhale, I've made changes in my physiology with this work. Exhale, I can rest and be assured in that. Inhale, I have power over what I think about. Exhale, I choose strength. I'm ready, slowly coming out of that. I'm gonna transition to the second side. Let your knees go side to side. Pelvis rocks. The next time you rock over to your left, the right knee comes down, kind of pigeon toe, pigeon knee, that knee, and block underneath it. Opposite ankle crosses over. And then from there, so if you need, um, so you can do this without the block if your knee comes all the way to the ground. Mine does not, so I'm gonna use the block. And I'm gonna reach up and then pull the arm out of your body. Work your breath. Find that inhale and a word to go with it or a thought to go with it. Find that exhale, feel support. Inhale, find the image of something that makes you really happy. Exhale, let it spread through your body. Two more breaths. On the next inhale, coming out. Take your legs up towards the ceiling. Take your hands around the back of your knees and pull in slightly, just release your low back in case that bothered it at all. Keep your right knee in, hold on to your hamstring. Inhale your left leg up and down. Just reset your pelvis. Your leg just come all the way around, it's totally fine. Transition to the second side when you're ready. What we think about can change our day. What we think about can change our blood pressure. What we think about can change our attitudes. Today you can be like, oh my gosh, what a gorgeous day. It's so sunny outside. Or you can be like, oh, we really need the rain. What's happening? So choose one that makes you feel better. Whichever one you choose, you're not going to change the weather with it. So choose a good, choose wisely. And then from there, extend your legs long. Close your eyes. Rest.
rest in the work that you did and rest in the idea that you have the ability to change how you feel with just your thoughts. I mean, exercise, because we're very physical people, you know, three minutes of exercise, if you've been stuck, stable, I'm excuse me, not stable, stuck in your house and you haven't done anything, that can change how you feel. But if you marry that with a thought that has you feel better, That's power. Call me music. It's a great way to change how you feel. The sense organs. I have lavender here. Having lavender when you do your yoga practice or just, you know, at any point, just putting lavender in your body or in your mask when you go outdoors. You're welcome to stay wherever you are. I'm going to start to end the class. But if you feel like, you know what, I haven't felt this good in a while, just stay where you are. The rest of us are going to make our way to seated. And once you come to seated, reflect on how you feel different from when you very first started. This little, tiny, very short practice that we did. Notice that your mind focused on something different. You got to feel who you really are. This is who you are. It's presence, strength, energy, vibration. You have a purpose. Put your hands together in front of your, your heart. Descend your chin. Namaste.